Hello and welcome to Modal Piano Improvisation, Lesson 1 from New Jazz. My name is Oliver Preen. In this lesson I will show you an approach of how to use pentatonic patterns inside the Dorian mode. In the end of this lesson, the drummer Erik Fransen, just above me, and I will play a little modal tune to illustrate the Pentadorian world. At newjazz.dk you can download play along tracks and all the individual tracks for that matter. It's all for free. No catch, no copyright. Feel free. Okay, let's start this lesson. From the note F, the Dorian scale sounds like this. Have of course the tonic and then the major second, minor third, perfect fourth and fifth, major sixth and finally the minor seventh. Note that the Dorian scale resembles the natural minor scale, except the Dorian scale has the major sixth interval instead of the minor sixth. Okay, so with the major sixth interval, the Dorian scale sounds brighter than the natural minor scale. Hear the difference. F minor scale and F Dorian scale. Okay, let's move on. Now, if we play F minor pentatonic, we will realize that all the notes in that scale are contained inside the F Dorian scale. The tonic, the minor third, perfect fourth and fifth, and finally the minor seventh. So we now have an alternative structure to play around with inside the F Dorian scale, and that's F pentatonic. Sounds like this. Now, let's move this F minor pentatonic hand pattern upstairs with a perfect fifth. Yes, the C minor pentatonic appears. And indeed, all the C minor pentatonic notes are also contained inside the F Dorian scale. Relative to the tonic F, we now have the perfect fifth, the minor seventh, the tonic, the major second, and the perfect fourth. So now we have found two places or tonalities for the pentatonic inside the F Dorian. And that is the F minor pentatonic and the C minor pentatonic. So let's look at the transmission between F and C pentatonic. We start playing the F minor pentatonic, thumb, second finger, third finger, under with my thumb, and then the second finger. And now we will change direction, brighten the sound, and play the C minor pentatonic. And with my thumb on C and second finger on E flat, we are just so ready for that. Like this. So. The last two notes, C and E flat in the F pentatonic, are also the beginning of the C pentatonic. So let me show it again, starting with F pentatonic, turning to C pentatonic. The two notes, C and E flat, are the link or intersection between the two pentatonic tonalities. When we grab the C minor pentatonic, we hit a completely new note, G. Now the listener knows for sure that this is no more the F pentatonic. We have now expanded our improvisation material with the second step in the F Dorian scale. Furthermore, we have expanded our way into the Dorian scale with another pentatonic hand position, 
So we now have two pentatonic hand positions to work with inside the F Dorian scale. I can easily switch between these two hand, hand positions, uh, these two pentatonic tonalities, using my two note intersection. Now, let's hear how that sounds. Okay, what's next? Maybe you have figured it out. We do exactly the same trick once more. We elevate our C minor pentatonic with a perfect fifth. The G minor pentatonic appears. And now I will ask, are all the G minor pentatonic notes contained inside the F Dorian? Yes, they are. Relative to the tonic F, we now have major second, perfect fourth and fifth, and wow, the characteristic major six that tells us that this is not the F natural minor scale, but the F Dorian mode. And finally, we, we have the keynote F. So, let's look at the transmission between C minor pentatonic and G minor pentatonic. First we play the C pentatonic, thump, second finger, third finger, under with my thump, and then the second finger, and now we will change direction. Brighten the sound even more and play the G minor pentatonic. And with my thumb on G and second finger on B flat, we are just so ready for that, like this. So, the two last notes in C pentatonic is also the beginning of G pentatonic. So let me show it again, starting with C pentatonic, turning to G pentatonic. The two notes G and B flat are the link or intersection between these two pentatonic tonalities. So we have now expanded our way into the Dorian scale, so we can play around with no more than three pentatonic tonalities, three pentatonic hand positions, and that is F, C, and G pentatonic. I can easily switch between these three hand positions using my intersection notes. Sounds like this. It's like we are going further and further out to a more bright sound and then turn around and go back home to our keynote F. Now I will claim that these three pentatonic hand grips together fill out completely the F Dorian scale. Let us check. F pentatonic we have here, plus the new note from C pentatonic, that was the major second, plus the new note from uh, G pentatonic, that was the major sixth. Amazing! All the F Dorian notes are there. So, now we are actually playing the Dorian mode. But we are not thinking Dorian as an up and down scale. We think that Dorian in a pentatonic structure containing three pentatonic hand positions, each spaced with a perfect fifth. Okay, now the drummer and I will perform a little love tune called Pentatonic and Dorian. What's the YouTube annotations just above my keyboard to help understand what's going on and what pentatonic tonality I'm playing at the moment? I will start very calm, playing the F pentatonic 
slowly and sensitive. Then I will expand to C pentatonic and play around with these two pentatonic hand positions for a while. Finally, I will reach this, the G pentatonic. In this way, you can follow the development from the very simple one pentatonic tonality to the more complex use of three pentatonic tonalities. Okay. Now, let me change to a more spacey sound on this keyboard. Yeah, and uh, please, dear God, give me some additional hands. Yes, thank you. Hit the drums, Eric. Thank you. 